And today's video is about how to stay healthy as a mom, as a woman, as a girl, as a female. <laughs> what do you think about that topic? I think it's a very good topic. It's about us women, us female. Yeah, so guys, you know what? I just realized that if we don't want to be healthy, that means we are doing nothing at all. Who want to look chubby? Who want to look ugly? Who want to look heavy? Who want to feel like, oh, I don't deserve, you know? Nobody want to do that. Nobody want to hear that. Nobody want to feel that way. That's why I decided that today I have to make this video and encourage all the moms out there, all the girls out there, all the women out there to feel pretty, always feel pretty, and let nobody tell you that, you, that you're not worth it let nobody discourage you i'm here today to give you courage and make you feel confident in yourself in everything you do so guys today i am a uh, two month postpartum and i decide to share with you my tips on how i lost my pregnancy weight yes let's go to that so first of all guys i have five tips that I'm going to share with you that will help you feel confident about yourself and the first one but before I go to that I would like to introduce my baby to you she's making a little bit of noise in the background but just bear with her you know she's a baby she's two months old and she's always making those funny noises anyway guys tip number one walk 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 i do morning walks you know and i do this when i'm going to drop my daughter to school so i walk for 15 minutes you know how is that and because i have three kids so i i put the two kids in the stroller because i have a double stroller and the other one just walk and we walk to school you know <laughs> how is that uh and after dropping her I come back home, walking again and trying to run a little bit, that not pushing myself hard, but just a little bit, you know? So every day for 15 minutes. And when once we reach home, uh, I always play this uh, uh, cardio on YouTube. I find these cardio on YouTube and play them. And then I start dancing, you know, trying to make myself sweat, trying to make my skin my body my everything sweat and after sweating i take a shower you know and i do that three times in a week monday wednesday and friday so that's three times in a week i do my cardio and then tip number three you know because tip number one is the uh, working in the morning tip number two is doing cardio and tip number three is drinking lots of water so I drink a lot of water. The doctor said uh, around 64 ounces per day. But it, sometimes I don't reach that, guys. I drink just enough. I know that this is enough water. And uh, it's helping me a lot because I'm breastfeeding. So drinking sugary stuff, I just said no. Hell no. No more. <laughs> so just drinking water and some milk, you know. Some 1% milk i am not drinking uh like a whole milk no just one percent and uh tip number four i am eating lots of vegetables and fruits 
so those are my favorites right now cooked or uncooked i'm just eating vegetables and fruits a lot like half of my food is just vegetables you know and then tip number five i am eating chicken a lot instead of eating red meat so i cut my red meat so that i can eat lots of chicken yeah we need to eat healthy to stay healthy you can't say that hey because i have two one or three kids five four ten now i can't work out i can't stay healthy i can't make myself look beautiful no you're wrong you better change that idea do something your men want to see you looking beauty <laughs> looking beautiful your men want to see you being healthy you know they want to see us looking pretty and they'll feel like, wow yeah that's my wife that's the mother of my kids not just that that's my girlfriend now as moms we need to be also beautiful as, as we are aging we need that to stay away from sickness you know when somebody's uh let's say 45 and above that's when those little little sickness comes around and try to attack you to make you weak but if you were if you were healthy before you won't be affected by that so that that's guys that's what i'm saying make sure we exercise make sure we do some workouts make sure we stay healthy we eat healthy and our kids are learning from us if we say hey i don't want i don't care anymore i'm done no now who is gonna teach your kids you better teach them that's it guys i just wanted to encourage everybody out there to try to be healthy don't say hey, because i have kids i can i cannot take a walk no you're wrong put your kids in the stroller and walk with them you, if it's running run with them you know they are they are happy in the stroller they just they're enjoying the ride as you are exercising so make sure you don't feel lazy don't be lazy get up and do something get up and do something for yourself yeah <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys gonna benefit from this video share with your loved ones encourage somebody out there today and God bless you all ah uh, so the baby's update is here so she's two months old she's uh, 12 pounds uh, she's uh, 23 inches long uh, she's growing really good she can see she can hear i think she knows me already yeah and i'm breastfeeding yes that's it guys if you want to have more milk supplies please drink a lot of water and eat a lot of veggies that will help you a lot that's the tip I can share with you because it's been helping me breastfeed and the baby's growing good and I don't have a schedule like feeding schedule. The doctor said, hey, just keep her on demand since she's still little. You know, when they're still little, we need to feed her as long as they want to feed. But once they are a little bit older, that's when we keep them on a schedule and uh, she's still doing good. She's breastfeeding all the time. Maybe one hour to two hours, I don't know, but that's how she's doing. And uh, she what she doesn't like being on the, on her tummy. She doesn't want to do tummy time, but we're trying really hard on that. Yeah, so that's it, guys. She doesn't want to be on her tummy. When you put her on her tummy, she lays on one side. Instead of doing this, she just want to lay down. Yeah, I think it's really hard on her, but we're trying to make sure she gets that part of her life yeah so she's there in her swing yeah that's it guys she doesn't cry a lot she sleeps uh for eight hours at night but between those uh, hours she wakes up and feed like twice in the night and then uh, during the day she takes four naps you know yeah, she will, she stays for like one hour awake and then she will she, she will sleep again. Yeah, so that's it, guys. She's a really good baby. She doesn't cry that much. She cries when she's hungry or she had a, a, a wet diaper or she's tired, you know. And that's when you you help her around and yeah. So that's her update. 
but other than that she's doing really good i thank god for her i thank god for myself and here is my two month postpartum tummy you can see that yeah i'm trying to make sure this go where i wanna be flat to see like this <laughs> but right now i'm still like three months pregnant you know but this will go away thank you so much for watching subscribe comment like give us a big thumbs up and let us know if you got encouraged thank you so much guys see you in the next video bye